all right so hello guys here we are back with another video um it's been a minute since i last filmed it's actually it's been like a few weeks um and i apologize because you know once school ended you know i was able to go home more often and spend some time with my family and then you know i had a friend got married recently and then um my a few of my siblings and i we went up to new york to go visit um family that we haven't seen for a very very long time and so i've just been kind of busy um enjoying life enjoying my summer break um but now i'm back guys and i'm filming another video and today um what i want to talk to you guys about this message is called the road less traveled and i think we all remember like in middle school this very very famous poem by robert frost um and it's called the path less taken and i'm just gonna read like the very very last line out of it because i think it is um just so relevant to what i'm going to be speaking to you guys about today so let me see if i can pull it up real quick um here it is so it's called the road not taken by robert frost and this is just going to kind of kick us off into this entire message um, which is called a path less traveled i took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference so basically in this poem he's in the woods and he sees like two different pathways he sees one pathway that it looks like lots of people have been on this pathway but despite that path he sees another path and he looks at this path and it's very narrow it looks like very few people have gone through this path and basically in the poem he chooses to go um, the path less taken and by the end of the poem he says that i chose to take the path less taken and it made all the difference and so that is just kind of what i want to start and kind of lay the foundation for this message which is called a path less traveled to start off with before i even begin before i even be, like get into this um i just want to say like this message it's not for everybody um some people will hear it and it'll go in one ear and out the other but some people and you know who you are like you'll hear this message you'll know it's for you and you know that this is the life that god is calling you to walk on and so just by faith just receive it and that you're able to um, take it and run with it and let it be an encouragement on your faith walk and on your journey with the lord so let's begin so the reason i think this message is so relevant it's to encourage believers um, to continue to walk with the lord on the path that he is calling you to walk on it's so that we do not get stuck or stagnant um, on our path and on our journey with the lord and so i believe like god he's so intentional and that he orchestrates our path in such a way that we are able to walk with him like god orchestrates our lives he sets the right things on our path and in order so that we can do life with him and i believe like that is god's heart and that is his intention so that we can do life with him so what i, I want to talk about the path less traveled it's because it will lead you to a higher place spiritually it is a calling to come up higher with the lord and to experience everything that he has for you and it's called a path less traveled because few find it and few are willing to actually walk this journey and you know the bible actually talks about this narrow path that i'm referring to and it's in matthew 7 13 through 14 so i'm just gonna read um this verse really quickly for you guys okay so this is the passion translation and it reads come to god through the narrow gate because the wide gate and broad path is the way that leads to destruction nearly everyone chooses that crowded road the narrow gate and the difficult way leads to eternal life 
so few even find it and that's really key like few ever find it and then in the new international version it reads you can enter god's kingdom only through the narrow gate this highway to hell is broad and its gate is wide for the many who choose that way but the gateway to life is very narrow and the road is difficult and only a few ever find it so when i read that piece of scripture god is clearly saying that in or in order for you to reach this narrow place you have to position yourself accordingly you know this narrow pathway it's not for everybody you know not everybody finds it and not everybody is willing to not everybody wants to find it so but the thing is that we must position ourselves in such a way so that we can walk this narrow pathway and there's there's so many ways to do that and the urgency in this message is that we cannot become complacent we cannot get comfortable in our walk with the Lord. You know, it takes time. It takes effort. You know, it's not, it's a narrow path for a reason because it's not easy and it's not always fun and convenient, but it's always worth it. It's always worth it. You know, we cannot be stationary. We cannot be stagnant in our walk with the Lord. You know, we have to be willing to do the work. We have to be willing to put in the time and the effort, right? So basically whatever is necessary, like we have to continue to move forward and walk with the Lord. And whenever I think about moving forward and I walk with the Lord, it reminded me of this message from Give Me Five Dutch Sheets. And he talks about the pioneer anointing. And basically, if you don't know what the pioneer anointing is, so to be a pioneer is one who essentially they pave the way for others. They are the first person to go down this path because they are the ones who are able to pave the way for others to follow in behind them and so when i first heard this that you know the narrow path the road less traveled it's all about continually to move forward and continually to walk with the lord and that reminded me of the pioneer anointing when dutch sheets spoke about it one of his give me 15 videos and i'm just going to read a little bit about what he said but this is a part that i really like and he said that pioneers who get comfortable never get there and i think that that is so key and i walk with the with with the lord especially on this on this pathway like if you get comfortable if you become stagnant if you become complacent you're never you're never gonna find it you're never gonna find that road that leads to life and life more abundantly so it says pioneers who get comfortable never get there pioneering requires consistent preparation and constant pressing you know we have to be one two three steps ahead right continue to move forward in the lord and you have to constantly press 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 right pioneering people live on the trail pioneering people listen for the song coming tomorrow get their early spring vision for where we need to be by winter whenever i read this part especially about consistent preparation and constant pressing you know that actually it reminded me of a dream that i had this morning and basically in this dream so i've it's weird like every few months i'm i have the same dream and basically in this dream i'm playing volleyball again like it's beginning of season and i'm playing volleyball and it's not like college it's like high school like way years years ago and in this dream i knew like i was very rusty on my skills right and i knew that i hadn't played all summer long and i knew that i only had like a few weeks to prepare for the season and so immediately when i knew that i was going to be playing volleyball in the fall i was like okay victoria i wrote down like a rigorous like step-by-step -step, like training guide how am i going to get prepared for the upcoming volleyball season and so when you think about all of this we can tie all this together preparation um it's not only key but i believe that preparation is essential you know without preparation meaning if you bring it back to this narrow path staying with the lord walking with the lord that is a day in and a day out kind of thing 
Like that is something you have to consist consistently do daily, right? Day in and day out. And if we are constantly spending that time with the Lord, then ultimately we will be prepared for whatever life throws at us, for whatever season we are in. I believe that day in and day out spending time with the Lord, that devotion to the Lord, that is what is going to prepare you for the next season that we're going to be in. And, you know, this past semester, I remember, you know, finals week came around and I had back to back to back finals. And I know without a doubt, like if I had not looked at my final exam schedule three, four weeks prior to after the actual finals week, I knew that I would not, there is no way I was going to do well on my final exams because that's how rigorous this te these tests are. And so in order for me to do well on these exams, I have to prepare, okay, this weekend you're going to study for this exam, this weekend you're going to study for this. So like I had it prepared, I had it planned out, and I believe without a doubt like if I did not take that time to prepare I don't know what would have happened because it, it probably would not have been good and so I think that like on this walk with the Lord preparation it's not only key but it's essential if you are going to make it to your next season to that to the to what the Lord is calling you to do you have to be prepared and, pre and that means walking with the Lord day in and day out and being consistent you know so I say all that to say like if you do not continue to move forward if you do not continue to walk in the Lord on the path that he has for you which is the narrow path then you won't be prepared for what for the next season so therefore like we have to position ourselves accordingly you know we have to be and we have to walk in unity with the Lord you know that's key there's very few people out there who act who truly desire to to um grow spiritually to come up high to a higher place spiritually with the Lord and get to know him on that intimate level but if you want to if you desire to then that's the first step to getting there to actually walking in unity and oneness with the Lord like he is desiring calling all of us to you know God wants us to become one with him so that we can hear more we can see more we can understand more you know and the thing about God is like God gives us free will he's not going to force us to do anything right therefore we have to make the choice to say i am going to walk on this narrow path the road less traveled i'm going to get through this place so that i can be one with the lord and it's a daily choice god he's not going to get angry with us or upset you know if we choose not to walk on this path with him you know but he will be sad and you know he may be disappointed and it's only because he wants what's best for us god wants us to experience the fullness of what he has for us he wants just to, to experience favor and overwhelming blessing in every single area of our lives like god wants us to enjoy life and enjoy life to its fullness and all that he has for us but we're not going to do that unless we choose to walk along this path less traveled unless we choose to go the path that he is calling us to walk on you know we have to make the sacrifices that are necessary we have to devote the time our efforts money whatever it takes in order to get us on this path that the Lord has for us. You know, it's not going to be easy. It's not always going to be fun. Spending countless amount of hours in prayer, in worship, reading your word, you know, that's not always, um, it's not always going to be convenient. You know, it takes sacrifice. It takes some time. It takes effort, you know, but that's the thing. Like if it was easy, then everybody would be doing it, but it's not easy. You know, the enemy, he doesn't want you on this path and the moment that you decided that you want to accept Jesus Christ into your heart that is the moment you become an enemy to the kingdom of hell to the kingdom of this world you know the enemy is going to do everything in his power to discourage you to cause you to lose hope and faith he's going to send trial after trial you know it's gonna be hard like it's not easy like this is not for everybody it's not easy this life that the lord is calling us to be on you know you're not gonna 
be the most popular person <laughs> let me be the first to tell you that <laughs> you're not gonna be invited to all the hangouts you know yes you're gonna lose some things but the things that you lose is nothing compared to what you're going to gain and the experiences that you're going to gain when you choose to walk with the Lord and you choose to walk on this narrow path that he wants you to walk on. So I just want to leave you guys with Hebrews 11:6, and it says that God is the rewarder and he rewards those who diligently seek you. So if you guys don't take anything from this message, hear me out like God is the rewarder of every good thing. If you choose this narrow path to walk walk on to do life with the Lord if you choose to walk with him to walk in oneness and unity with him if you choose to go to a higher place spiritually with the Lord he is your he is the rewarder and he gives you he gives the best gifts God will not disappoint you. Yes, it's hard. Yes, it's not going to be easy. Yes, you will be rejected. You will be persecuted. But I'm telling you right now, just like Robert Frost wrote, it will make all the difference in the world. This is the best pathway for you. If you want to experience the fullness of what God has for you, it is only going to happen if you travel along this pathway, you know? Or if not, if you say this is too hard, you say I can't do it, you know? Go ahead, keep keep doing life on your own terms. Keep living life how you wanna live life. But I'm telling you, in the end, it will all come to nothing. This path, the road less traveled, is the path that you, where you will experience everything that God has for you. You will experience your best life on this pathway. So yeah, that's what I want to leave you guys with. Um, I hope you guys got something from this message. I hope you guys were encouraged. You know, I hope that this really encouraged you guys to go deeper in the Lord. I know I'm taking this word, I'm running with it too. This word is for me just as much as it is for anybody out there. Bye guys.